Eito Villalobos is regarded as one of the brightest composers of the 20th century. He was definitely a very important figure in the whole history of Latin American music, and particularly of his native Brazil. He wrote an incredible amount of music, including operas, ballets, symphonies, string quartets, works for solo guitar and solo piano, just to mention a few. His father was a passionate amateur musician, and he taught young Eitor to play cello and clarinet. At a later age, Eitor also quietly learned to play guitar against his bitter mom's will. She didn't support his passion for music and wanted him to become a doctor. At the age of 18, he left home to travel across Brazil, supporting himself by playing in villages. He spent around five years on grueling expeditions in the jungles of the Amazon, collecting the folk music. His own compositions get very much influenced by Portuguese, African and native Indian music whilst he still kept the connection with European classical traditions. Eitor's first wife, Lucilia, was a pianist, and she was the one that taught him piano. Few years later, in Rio, Eitor met an extremely famous figure, pianist Arthur Rubinstein, who got very interested in his music. Arthur was the one who encouraged the composer to come to Paris, so Eitor spent some years in the 1920s in Paris and touring around Europe. He was pretty much aware of his own unique language in music. His famous saying was, I don't use folklore, I am folklore. When Villa Lobos returned to Brazil, he led a strong foundation of music education in his home country. He established a conservatory for choral singing and Brazilian Academy of Music. This piece, Opolicinello, translated into English as The Punch, is part of his piano suite called The Baby's Family. This is one of the eight pieces of the first volume of the suite, The Dolls. The second volume was dedicated to the little animals and the third that had not been published and is lost, to sports. The Punch is a classical character that originated in Commedia dell'arte of the 17th century and became a stock character in Neapolitan puppetry. For those who haven't seen the extravagant costume of this doll, it's certainly something worth checking. What's interesting about this piece is its polytonality. Most of it is played by right hand on white keys, whilst left hand plays on black keys, just like this. This piece is extremely popular. Once premiered by Arthur Rubinstein, it was then played by him a lot, often as an encore. Now it's been played around the globe by pianists of all ages and in all sorts of different tempi. If you're able to get up to a very fast tempo while keeping the quality and clarity of playing, fantastic. For those who are struggling a bit, the following exercise might be useful. Just go for as long as you like. For this bit, bar 7 onwards. method might be helpful. Practicing on a piano lid or a table. But please make sure that the accents in the left hand are prominent enough. Like this. But take a slow tempo to really get into that. Then you can speed up. Now, to practice this section starting at bar 50. Which by the way goes like in your right hand. I recommend the following method. First, just bottom notes. Then, when you master that, top notes only. Then, both notes and the first interval with the bottom note of the second interval, just like this. Then, both notes of the first interval and the top note of the second interval, like this. 